All right, so just so you guys know, there is a Man Cave Tool Store. The link is in the description below. You can get a hat, shirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirts, mugs, stickers, and a whole assortment of stuff. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a little test on the Hilti brushless 22 volt recip saw. Alrighty, so I just want to let you guys know that you could actually get Hilti at Home Depot. I didn't know about it until a long time, uh, not a long time ago, but probably over a year ago that you are actually able to buy Hilti tools from the Home Depot website. And so after I was exploring the, the Hilti brand on the Home Depot website, I actually went to the Hilti store and downloaded the Hilti app. But you could get a huge assortment of Hilti tools at the Home Depot website. Now, this is one of them. I did get this at the Home Depot website. And they do have 22-volt, 12-volt tools, gas-powered tools. While I'm talking, I'm just scrolling through the website really quick right now. Uh, the one thing that they do not have on the website yet Hilti brushless hammer drill. Now this is model number SF6HA22. They do not have that on the website yet. The newer 12 volt tools they do. And so my favorite tool, which is this, the SFD2A12. This is my favorite tool in my arsenal. I use this for everything. If I need more power, then I use a different uh, voltage, but this is my favorite tool that I have. It's a 12 volt tool. And I love, as you guys know, I love the 12 volt systems but they do have all the latest brushless tools uh, made by Hilti on the Home Depot website. And yes, if you really did want to explore on how Hilti tools are, or even just buy a single Hilti tool, uh, you can. Now, the difference, what makes Hilti so expensive is the kits, all right? So the tools themselves, the, the tool only, itself is not that expensive. It's not that much more money than it is uh, Makita, Ryobi, Milwaukee, DeWalt. This hammer drill tool only is $139. All right, now this hammer drill from Ryobi that comes with a four amp hour battery, a charger, and a bag is $150. That's the difference between these tools. If this was tool only, this would be a $115, $20 drill, All right? They wouldn't give this like, like the, the Ryobi brushless impact drivers, a $100 impact driver of uh, the P298, I believe it is. This would be a $130 tool only, you know, but that, that's what makes them cheaper is they have the batteries with, uh, they have a kit, you know, they majorly discount the battery and the charger. All right, Hilti doesn't do that. If you buy a kilt from if you buy a kit from Hilti, you actually buy each piece uh, individually at full price. All right, so this would be $140 for the tool. It would be, and you wanted two four amp hour batteries. You know, you would pay $130 each battery. You'd pay $40 for the charger, and then you would pay $12, uh, $12 for the belt clip and about $30 to $40 for the bag. All right, that's, that's why Hilti is so expensive because they... That's the only reason why Hilti is so much more money than the other brands is because they offer zero deals uh, when it comes like price deductions, like zero. You know, like uh, uh, I went to the Hilti store and the a deal that they had, you spend seven thousand dollars worth of tools, they'll give you twelve hundred dollars worth of tools for free, or something like that. You know, and that's absolutely insane. All right, so that's the type of deals Hilti has. You know, they don't have deals like, like you can get this kit uh, with two four amp hour batteries, a charger, and a bag for 220 bucks. You're gonna spend 260 alone on the two batteries. Uh, then you include the charger, 
which the two, let's just say 270, you include this, 400, and then the belt clip, 412, then the bag, uh, 450. So then this turns into a $450 kit. I just want to let you guys know that's why Hilti is so much more expensive than the other brands. Even Milwaukee and DeWalt, Hilti offers zero discounts if you buy, uh, if you buy a tool. You pay full price for each individual part in a kit. All right, but like I said, I, th I bought this. Now, I went to Home Depot, and uh, I actually, I, I bought more wood. We I did get brand new, brand new uh, blades, but we are going to use a severely used blade on this, and we're just going to make a couple of cuts. Let's see what this could actually do. Now, I did use this. Uh, uh, as you can see, I did use this already, so it's still a brand new tool, but we are just going to see what... Uh, on the timing for when it comes to cutting some of these uh, pieces of wood I got. Now, this is not Hilti's most powerful recip saw. Re uh, Hilti has two more versions. They have a 36 volt and they have a corded uh, recip saw that they're, they're both over $300 each. This one is about $230 tool only. In the future, we are going to be going against the other Recip saws. And in this video, we will be using the 8 amp hour battery. Battery is full. But the model number for this is SR6A22. I like the position of the features that they have on this to make it easy for the tool user. All right, so this goes to, it's 21.6 volts and it's 26, uh, and it's 2,600 strokes per minute. Now that's 400 strokes per minute less than the other brands, but it's 21.6 uh, volts. Recip saws is easy, 2,600 strokes per minute. And so yeah, what I love about this, unlike the other uh, recip saws, the ease, the access to gain to the different features is easy. The, all this is, is, it's a push button. That's it, very, doesn't take much to push that in either. As you can see, that won't go in. Lightly push, then it goes in, and it locks into place. And you can adjust it to how, how, how you need with a simple of a easy push-in button. Very easy. The Milwaukee, the Milwaukee has this, which it's tight, it's, it's tight to get to, but once you have it, you can do the same thing. But it's not an easy push-in button. Uh, variable trigger only. Let's put this in here. Yep, no speed things at all. Variable trigger only. And so, yeah. What I like about this is you don't need to touch... You don't need to touch the insert at all for the, the chuck for the... To put your blade in because it's right on the side right here that's all you have to do this is uh vinyl with fiberglass reinforcement uh and it is not metal which i think it i think this should be metal but it is not all right so first we're just going to cut a simple two by four remember when you work wear gloves and safety glasses i got mine right here of course hilti so we're just going to do a uh, two cuts simple nothing too drastic in this episode because I want to save what this could really do and for versus videos all right so battery is full battery's full eight amp hour battery all right so ready go time not bad not bad now we are using a Milwaukee axe nine inch blade I believe that's axe. It's wood and nails. Ready? Go. Time. Now there is no orbital feature on this. No orbital feature whatsoever. I love this thing. It feel like I said. It feels really, really good in the hand. And I, I love that you could just adjust that really easily like that. One hand, one hand to push it. Like, I, I love that. But let's just keep it like that. Put it all the way in. All right, so ready, go. 
That's my bad. We're going to have to redo that. I didn't lock this down nearly enough. There we go. Now lock it down again. That's better. All right, and in the future, I am going to copy what VCG does. I am going to add a weight to this to, for equal pressure. That's ingenious what VCG did, so I'm going to do that as well when it comes to the recip saws. All right, so ready, go. <laughs> not bad not bad at all all right let's do one more cut on a six by six all righty so all right so we are going to do one cut with this battery is full and remember this blade is severely used this blade is not new by any means and so yeah so this is not, I just wanted to see what, I just want to see what this can do really quick. So ready, go. Smells good. Let's do a quick temperature reading. 105, 100, 104, 99, 104 degrees is the hottest spot. 104 degrees. So yeah. So so I just want to show you guys that oh what this can do really quick. It's uh you know I don't want to get into it uh, in detail too much when it comes to performance because I want to do versus videos. And so, yeah, but I love this feature. This feature is so handy. Now, other, uh, other recip saws does have this, but this one is super easy to do. Super easy to do. It, it is so, you don't, you know, just one light push of a button, you could adjust the chuck. That's awesome. It's awesome. So and you can have it all the way back. I mean, look how close that is. That is seriously close. So that is no. I, we're gonna do a in a versus videos. We're gonna do a measuring on that. But yeah, like I said, this is model number SR six A two two. And like I said, you could get Hilti tools at the Home Depot website. If you use PayPal, you can start up your Hilti stuff. You know, because Hilti tools aren't that expensive when it comes to the other brands. Uh, if you're just starting off with Hilti, you know, when you have nothing, it's gonna be expensive in the beginning, but as soon as you have a few batteries, the tools really aren't that expensive. My favorite tool is $89 tool only. Now, when it comes to these batteries, you can get a four amp hour for 50 or a 2.6 for $36. Uh, then you gotta get a charger separate, but as soon as you have a few batteries, then you're good to go. But this is my favorite tool. I love the way it's designed and I love the power that it has with a speed selection option and a 15 point clutch. You know, and a quarter inch hex collet on there. This is not an impact driver, just let you guys know. So that's pretty much it. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.